the prophecies of famous mystic, Mitar Tarabik about World War, Three before the second coming of Jesus Christ the following article is taken with the courtesy from the website, Mitar Tarabich, 1829-1899, an illiterate peasant from the small Serbian village of Kremna, experienced occasional prophetic visions. Being a religious person and having a local Serbian Orthodox priest for a godfather, he told this priest about his episodes of seeing into the future. The priest, Zaharic Zaharic, 1836 to 1918, wrote down everything in a small notebook, which was damaged by fire in 1943 when his family home was destroyed by the occupying Bulgarian army. This text is now in the possession of the family of Zaharika's great grandson, Mr. Dayan Malankavish. Tarabish's prophecies were literally very straightforward, unlike the prophecies of Nostradamus, 1503 to 1566 that seemed to be encrypted with the latest 1,024-bit encryption technology. Tarabish's best-known prophecy has to do with a series of political events in 19th-century Serbia. He predicted a sequence of events, spanning a course of decades, that eventually led to the removal of the ruling Abranovic family from the Serbian royal throne. This prophecy came to be known in the Balkan region as the Black Prophecy, and it played out as predicted. You should note that Tarabish's words are translated from Serbo-Croatian and that the translation is not necessarily in its final form. You may notice that some of the phrasing in the quotes is awkward and rough, this is an accurate reflection of his rural accent. Tarabish's words come from conversations with his godfather Zaharik, so you should be aware that any references to you or your descendants relate to Zaharik, the priest, specifically. When Tarabich says us he means the Serbs, but he does not distinguish between Croats, Serbs, Slovenians, etc. To him, anyone who spoke his language was a Serb. Perhaps it is also important to note that we don't really know how much of Tarabish's prophecies was influenced by his own opinion. Some of the adjectives used to describe the people and events he saw could be a reflection of his peasant-like interpretation of those events, examples, intelligent, brave, honest, horrible, calamity, etc.